The word intifada has been ringing across college campuses in America for weeks now as students fight college administrators during protests on the war in Gaza. The word intifada originated in Arabic and translates to uprising or shaking off. It gained significant recognition through two major Palestinian uprisings against Israeli occupation in the late 20th century. The first intifada erupted in December 1987, primarily driven by Palestinian frustration with Israeli occupation policies in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Sparked by a traffic accident involving an Israeli truck and a Palestinian vehicle in Gaza, it quickly escalated into widespread protests, civil disobedience, and occasional violence. The first intifada was characterized by grassroots mobilization, with tactics ranging from mass demonstrations to stone throwing and strikes. This period of unrest persisted for several years, with thousands of Palestinians and Israelis losing their lives. It ultimately led to the Oslo Accords in the early 1990s, which marked the beginning of formal negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians, aimed at achieving a peaceful resolution to the conflict. The Second Intifada, also known as the Al-Aqsa Intifada, began in September 2000 after a visit by Israeli politician Ariel Sharon to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound in Jerusalem. This visit was seen as provocative by Palestinians, and it reignited simmering tensions. The Second Intifada was marked by a significant increase in violence, including suicide bombings, shootings, and Israeli military incursions into Palestinian territories. The conflict resulted in thousands of casualties on both sides and had a profound impact on the region. The controversy surrounding the intifadas stems from differing narratives and interpretations of the events. For Palestinians, the intifadas are often viewed as legitimate acts of resistance against occupation aimed at achieving national liberation and self-determination. They see these uprisings as a response to Israeli oppression and a means of drawing international attention to their plight. On the other hand, many Israelis view the intifadas as acts of terrorism and aggression aimed at undermining Israel's security and right to exist as a Jewish state. They argue that the violence perpetrated during the intifadas targeted civilians and was intended to instill fear and insecurity among the Israeli population. The controversy surrounding the intifadas is further exacerbated by the complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, with deep-rooted historical, religious, and territorial grievances on both sides. This ongoing conflict continues to fuel tensions and shape perceptions of past events, including the intifadas, making them a subject of intense debate and contention. Consequently, the term has become synonymous with resistance through forceful means. It is important to note that the term intifada has been used in other contexts, such as the Iraqi uprisings against Saddam Hussein and the Western Sahara conflict, where it has also been linked to violent resistance. However, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict remains the primary context in which the word intifada is used and understood, and it is this history that has cemented its association with violence. While the term can encompass both violent and non-violent forms of protest, the predominant usage and connotations of the word have been linked to violent resistance.